I just wanted to show you two options for how to draw neat organic chemistry structures. I know there's a lot of students I talk to who are interested in templates that will help them draw better organic chemistry shapes, particularly hexagons like for benzene or chair cyclohexanes when you get to chair conformations. Now I've got two options here. One is Ben's Note, so this is available online. You can get it from Amazon.com. And it is a spiral bound notebook that has a hexagonal grid pattern. Um, and then the other option I've got here is a product that I've developed called Chem Paper. So Chem Paper is a set of um, structure drawing templates in a variety of formats. And I'll look at each of these in turn. So let's look at Ben's Note first. So as I said, it's spiral bound. So it's um, 112 pages and it's in a letter format. And um, as you can see, it's uh, for chemistry made easier. Now, the thing about Ben's note is that it is a, a green, I don't know how this stands out on the camera, but it's a green faint sort of um, template. And so that is, I guess, to provide you a good contrast to what you draw in either a black or a blue pen. Now, um, it is, as I said, spiral bound. It also has hole punch, so it's three hole punch. And it, you can tear out, there's a tear out um, perforation along the edge here. Now, um, I've got a couple of pencils here. I've got a fairly blunt 2B pencil. So I just draw out a structure so you can see what it looks like. Now, I don't have any artificial lights here. This is just natural light coming in from the window. And uh, hopefully you can see that the uh, drawings do stand out fairly well against that green background. And certainly, I am not the neatest organic chemist. And so uh, certainly, uh, you know, I could, use with a bit of I could use a bit of practice with a template like this. Okay, so we can easily draw uh, our organic structures uh, like so. And uh, what are we going to do? Maybe a Clemenson reduction. Make that go down to this and do zinc and HCl and so on. Okay, um, now there's more you can do with a hexagonal template than just draw benzene structures. You can draw your zigzag or bond line structures or line bond structures like this. You can draw, um, you know, non-benzenoid but six membered rings. Now when you get to smaller ring sizes, like five, then you have to sort of avoid the template to some extent. But I do find the template at least gives you, um, you know, indication of where you might need to go inside of that hexagonal shape. Okay, so um, that's what you can do there. Now we can also use a hexagonal template for doing things like a Newman projection. So a Newman projection, you could start off with your three lines like this put your substituents like that, and then put a circle in the middle. And then what you want to do is get your lines going out to each of these points here for the other three possibilities. Now, so that's why I recommend you use one of these templates for hexagonal shapes like benzene, cyclohexanes. You can draw other ring systems, zigzag or line bond structures. You can draw branching. You can draw rings attached to that, you, you know, and you can, uh, draw other ring sizes, that's no problem. But what I don't recommend you do is draw your um, cyclohexane chairs. So a cyclohexane chair looks like this. And that, you know, that's not supposed to fit into a hexagonal template. And I must say, I was um, I was a bit shocked and a little bit disappointed to see on the front cover of Ben's note here, uh, you know, one of the exemplar structures being a chair cyclohexane. Don't, don't do that. That's, that's a horrible chair cyclohexane and, um, you know, it just looks ugly and your, your professor is not going to like that if they see it in an exam. Uh, also, there's some odd things in the front here. This um, oxygen that's really super big compared to the other hydrogens and so on. Uh, you know, like a lot of structures you see online and in real life, uh, these are not, you know, great organic chemistry structures that are used in this example. But anyway, if you would like to have a uh, hard copy a notebook that has a hexagonal template for drawing your uh, structures and your notes for your organic chemistry lectures, then I think Ben's note is a good option. And particularly if you like a spiral bound or if you like uh, perforated pages with these hole punches. Now, um, I decided when I made templates for organic chemistry structure drawing, I decided not to do hard copies like this because I didn't want to have the hassle of having to sort out logistics of supplying a physical product and so on. So for chem paper, I've uh, not done the hard copy. And what I've done is I've made uh, PDF templates available. And what, what, what happens if you buy uh, chem paper, 
then you get a, um, a set of PDF documents in three different sizes. You get large, medium, and small. So you get sizes that fit your handwriting. And you get them in landscape and portraits. So overall, you get um, six different uh, PDF files uh, with those three different sizes in both the portrait and the landscape. And each PDF document has a variety of different styles of template. So there is the regular template like this. So this and this may be hard to see because the contrast on the um, on the video may not be great. And actually, unfortunately, bad timing. My printer started running out of toner. But hopefully you can see there's a six membered uh, ring template here and I can draw my structures just as with Ben's notes. So uh, you can print out my PDFs as many times as you like and use them as a loose, loose leaf version of a Ben's note. Um, now, you know, and you can use these for uh, Newman projections as well and, and so on. Now, but the thing is with my templates is that uh, I don't just have the um, regular sort of gray lines on a white background. Um, I've also got a, a gray background with white lines. So this is a little bit similar to the white lines paper that is very popular with some people. And so you might prefer one of the over the other in terms of contrast. I quite like this gray background with the white lines. Once again, my, my printer has uh, an issue with the toner at the moment. So there's some there's a little bit of a problem with the printing here, but uh, you may be able to see that you know there's the white lines here. We can draw our structures uh, from that. Okay. Now there's also as well as the gray lines and the white lines. There's also um, in the hexagonal template. There's also the chair cyclohexane. So all these I've printed out in the large format. There's also a small and a medium if you like to draw things at other sizes. And this and I'll draw this in pen now just so you can see. Um, so here's a blue pen drawing out your chair cyclohexane. And I think chair cyclohexanes are something that a lot of students struggle to draw uh, neatly when you are taking organic chemistry. And they're really important to get right. And also one thing I'd like to point out is that the chair cyclohexane template is not just good for the chair cyclohexane itself, but also for putting in your substituents. So your equatorial substituents always follow one of these bonds that are part of the uh, template. And then your axial substituents will always be vertical. So they'll be vertical going away from the vertex where two lines meet. And so that lets you practice not only chair cyclohexanes, but also axial and equatorial substituents. And there's a gray lines version of that as well. And there's two different versions of the chair cyclohexane because there's two different orientations that we can draw that um, that cyclohexane. But actually what a lot of students like to do is use these electronically. Because they're given to you as a PDF file, you can use them uh, electronically and very popular with many students is to use them with iPad with an Apple Pencil. Now I don't have an iPad or an Apple Pencil. However, uh, most of the students who have used ChemPaper use Notability. The app Notability, you can import into it any PDF you like. So you can take in the PDF ChemPaper and then you can just start annotating it with uh, the Notability app. Uh, however, I use a, a Microsoft Surface Book. So this is a Surface Book with a um, stylus. And so this is very similar to what you could do uh, I, the Apple uh, iPad plus an Apple Pencil. And you can just annotate directly onto the um, template like this. And you know, most all these annotation apps let you do things like use colors and let you uh, draw if you want to. You can then draw out things like uh, mechanisms. So we can draw out a, a mechanism here and use different colors to show how this works. Okay, so there's the options. Um, chem paper that I've made available um, is just a flat price of $10. So you get all six of those PDFs, both the landscape and the portrait um, in both the all, the all the sizes, large, medium, and small, depending on your handwriting. You can print them out, you can use them electronically in either uh, any tablet, like a uh, Windows uh, Surface Book or Surface Pro, or with Apple uh, products like the iPad with Apple Pencil. So there you go, I hope you found this useful uh, as a couple of options for helping you draw really nice organic chemistry structures. And they're structures that are gonna get you the best marks in your exam because your professor will be able to read them and see what you're trying to tell him or her. Okay, so thanks a lot and uh, good luck with your studies. <music>